Name a better feeling than being able to get your ball up and down or to make a birdie on a par five because your short game is on fire. Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn and today we're going to talk about something that I've been very, very excited to share because it's going to help absolutely every one of you guys, all of my amateurs out there that want to lower their scores. This is going to be a huge, huge tool for them to do this. And I'm talking about this little guy here. It's called the One Wedge. This is not a training aid. This is actually a golf club, but it's the best combination off a training aid to a golf club, if you will, because it really helps you. You can use it, it's an actual golf club, you can use it in the course and it's conforming, you can compete with it. And I really love this because I've tried this on many of my students and they have seen instant improvement. And I'm telling you guys, I'm not somebody that would say this if it wasn't really true. So last week I had a lesson with this really sweet lady and she had a really hard time accelerating the club through, bottoming it out at the right time, using that bounce of the wedge that she had. And I handed her the one wedge and I said, why don't you try this? Just give it, give it a try. And she took it and literally the next three shots were perfect in contact. Most of us do lose the shots around the green. So make sure that you check out this one wedge. It's by Performance Golf. I'll leave you guys the link below and it's really going to revolutionize your chipping. There's so many good things about this wedge and I'm going to explain them to you now. So as you can see here, it has a very wide sole, very wide bounce, which is very different from the regular wedge that you usually see. Regular wedges have their, um, a lot of thinner soles right here and they taper towards the back. And it really kind of requires you to open the face. It requires you to know how to use the bounce, which a lot of amateurs don't. It's very difficult. It really depends on the lie, how you should be or should not be using the bounce. And this wedge really makes it simple because this sole here covers all the bounce options you'd need in one simple swing and one simple tempo. So it just really makes it so much easier to bottom the club out at the right time, to actually get good contact, to get good spin control, to get good distance control. And today we're gonna to talk about chipping with this one wedge and a standard chip that you can make from anywhere and you're not going to dig anymore you're not going to have poor contact you're not going to be inconsistent and be dreading your chipping around the greens every time you miss a green you're going to be feeling confident that you can make that up and down so i'm very excited for all of you guys here in this video also if you look at this club it has very very funky grooves i do love the grooves these grooves are actually horizontal they kind of slant it on this towards the middle which really brings the misses into the center of the club face so it really encourages the ball to roll and spin towards the center of the club face and what i really love about this it has a middle line so it's a lot easier for amateurs to actually aim and to see where that um, middle point is because usually you only have those straight lines that go across the club face and it's not always readily um, available and apparent where the middle of the club face is so i love that you know as much help as we can get is what we need because this sport is too hard already so let's make it as easy as we can on ourselves by putting some of these really cool things into our bag like this one wedge by performance golf so the other thing i wanted to mention is that this is a one tempo type club so they have counterweighted the shaft in the back end that you are actually always going to have really good momentum and it's going to counterweight the actual head of the club so it's going to generate momentum on its own i've personally used a putter like this when i was competing on tour and up until a couple months ago and i absolutely loved it because it feels like the club is swinging itself and now that they've counterweighted a wedge which i haven't really seen before i'm very excited because again it's going to help you accelerate through the ball and that is something that amateurs struggle with and even pros struggle with this. And it's huge, huge. It's a massive key in chipping that you can accelerate through the shot, that you don't decelerate. A lot of people will take a big backswing and then they decelerate because they're scared they're going to hit it over. They're going to hit it you know, too far past the pin. They're going to bottom the club out wrong. But in this case, it's really going to help you get that momentum and keep that momentum up throughout your entire through swing and impact. So that's really going to help you create the right amount of spin to make that ball sit on the greens and to chip some seriously great shipping shots. The other thing that I really love about this one wedge is that it has a straight leading edge versus a curved leading edge. So it's actually so much easier to see whether you're parallel to the target or whether you're not. And it doesn't force you to open the face. So you can always be aiming parallel to the target because this four way auto react sole will really help you bottom the club out no matter which lie you're in, whether in the rough, in the bunker or on a tight lie right here, just around the greens. So in this video, I want to make sure that we go through a simple standard chip that will get you out of any bad lie around the greens whether that's rough whether that's bunker whether that's tight lies and it's really going to help you be the best chipper ever so with that little tip of my standard chipping method and in combination with this one wedge you're going to be the best chipper that you've ever been so i'm very excited and let's jump into it 
Here we have a lie that's pretty tight. It's a pretty standard lie around the greens and the pin is on the back here. So we don't have a whole lot of space in the back. We want to make sure we fly it about three, four feet into the green and then we just release it out to the pin. So that's really all we need. So my bulletproof standard chip is going to be ball position and hand position focused. And that's really the only two things that you need to be looking for in your setup and in the positioning that we're going to be doing. So when we're going to set up to the ball right here, we're going to put our ball position onto the right heel. So in line with my right heel, and then we're going to put our hands in line with our left heel. So that really creates that ball being a little bit more back and the handle being a little bit more forward. And that's going to create some nice penetration. And now all we have to do is we keep our weight a little bit more on our left foot. You can see this, there's about, you know, 70% on my front foot on my lead foot. And now we're going to use our core and we're never going to change that Y, this Y right here that we're building between my shoulders and my club. We're not changing that. We're just rotating with our belly button, guiding this motion back and through. That is really key back and through a lot of amateurs only take their hands back and it'll look something like this, but there was no core rotation. So that is really putting you behind the eight ball because if you only have take your hands back right here and then you start rotating, what happens? Your hands are behind your body. They're stuck and timing is going to be very difficult and you're likely going to bottom out before the ball. So make sure that when you are done taking that, you know, ball position on your right heel and then hand position on your left heel, that you're rotating back with your belly button and you're rotating through with your belly button. So let's do a shot like that. Weight 70% on my front foot. Look at that little chip shot, just creeping up there to the pin. And that's going to be a tap in every single time, guys. And you really don't have to make it any more complicated than that. And we're not using our wrists. And you may have noticed this. We're not using our wrists. We're not hinging. We're not angling. We're not changing any of the relations of the angles that we've setting that we've set up at setup. So this and this and all that, you know, fancy stuff that we always see Phil Mickelson or some of the other tour players do. We don't want to do this because yes, obviously there is ways of doing it, but let me tell you, it is so inconsistent and it's hard to recreate. It is very hard to recreate on tight lies like this, or even in the rough where there's a lot of air under the ball. So if you were to use a lot of hinging and a lot of motion, um, it's just very difficult to time it right and to get it right every time. And we're all looking for consistency. That is what we're all here for. Golf is a game of mastering consistency. And that's why this is so important for me, for you guys to do. Again, let's go through this. We have our ball on our right foot, on the heel of our right foot. We have our hand position in line with the left heel. So it's a little bit more forward. And then we're going to turn around it with our core. And this is really just the core motion. Nothing else changes, guys. This is the whole magic. And you keep your weight on your front foot, 70%. You keep it there the whole swing. As you can see, I'm also opening my stance a little bit and my shoulders a little bit. That's just something I always do when you chip. You want to make sure that it helps you kind of get through to the target when you're rotating there with your belly button. Nice, soft little chip, and it's just releasing up to that pin. So this is really all the magic, guys. There's not more than you have to do, and this will apply from the rough. This will apply from a tight lie. This will apply just from the fringe if you're just off the green. So you have the choice whether you're going to putt or whether you're going to chip it. And I just love this wedge. Genuinely, it feels very, very good. It feels very well weighted. And that's something that if your wedge is too light, and I see that a lot, um, it's really difficult to time and tempo your swing well because you are prone to kind of manipulate your club phase and manipulate your club if it can't just create that momentum on its own. And with this one wedge, I really feel like it just kind of comes through on its own, to be honest. See that counterweighted momentum? Ooh, is that going to go in? Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. See, this is going to be your future, guys. You're going to be wondering whether every single chip of you is going to go into the hole just like me just now. And I love that. I mean, Name a better feeling, guys. Name a better feeling than being able to get your ball up and down or to make a birdie on a par five because your short game is on fire. I mean, I'd literally take, I'd take all of these. I'll take any of these. I really would. Let's try to make this one.
I mean, that spin is just outstanding. Did you see how that just spun? And it's because I can get this club head under the ball and because of these grooves that make it catch, it makes it bite on the greens. No better feeling, guys. No better feeling. So I'm going to chip this last one for you because it's so much fun. I can't stop chipping. And honestly, I, I swear to you, this is not a joke. I never really enjoyed chipping and practicing chipping because I also was, I was always a very good player, but I will admit that my chipping game was always the weakest part of my game. So that's why I'm also very excited for you guys because you know, you're going to spend a lot of time practicing this. So why not make it as easy as possible and put a really good club in your hands. Checked up, but I just simply love this. I'm going to be practicing with this wedge a lot more. And this is for any level, for any amateur, for any type of player, for any type of lie. So this is awesome. Again, it's by Performance Golf. They just launched it. Make sure you get yours today. There's only so many when they're sold out, they're gone. So make sure that you go to the bottom and you click the link below and you get your one wedge. And if you don't like it, you just set it back. Look guys, this is just a trial and error, right? And I've given this to many of my students. They've all loved it. Take my word for it. I promise you, this is a really good investment. And then, you know, pair that with some of my tips, pair that with a lot more practicing time around the greens. So guys, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's make sure we only have to spend as much time as we need on the chipping green and around the greens, because we all know time is money. Not everybody has time to stand out there for hours, even if we would like to. So with this wedge, you won't have to practice that much because it's already going to make it so much easier for you. So do yourself a favor for this upcoming 2024 season and actually give this one wedge a try. Again, I've linked it in my comment section below Low in my caption so you guys can go there you link to performance golf and there's only so many before they sell out guys take my word for it give it a chance if you don't like it send it back we don't want your money if you don't love it so let's make sure that you guys order this you guys get this into your bag and it's going to make a huge difference and i cannot wait to show you what this guy does out of the bunker and we're going to do this in our next video because i am shook i am legitimately shook because the bunker is also something that so many of my students struggle with it's a very difficult shot it's very different from the chips around the greens and yet this wedge still performs so Make sure you get your one wedge and then we can really jumpstart our season into 2024 with some great, great short game.